Alright guys, this is the epiphany. Uh, the update 2.58 has officially come out and in this video I'm going to be showing you two ways in which you can get to the new areas. The first way is the simpler way and you need to have access to Pandala Island. If you do not, then check out the video that I'm going to link below that shows you how to get access to Pandala Island. So the first thing that we want to do is to go to the map 15, comma, negative 31. And if you have a GPS, then I recommend using it because no one can be bothered to walk these days. So while I'm GPSing there, I just want to announce a few things. After all of my years using this laptop for university projects, assignments and such, it has actually become extremely laggy now. So I cannot actually do Colosseum with more than one account running on this laptop which makes it extremely difficult for me because I just set up an entire new team for Colo as well so I'm either gonna have to borrow a brother uh, my brother's or my dad's laptop or have um, you know get a new laptop but yeah um, okay so at 15 negative 31 what you want to do is go into this cave once you're in this cave, there's this interactable thing here. Click this thing and you'll go over here. And then once you're here, you'll go into this room. Once you're here, talk to this NPC here. And the first thing you want to do is find out more about this place. Say you'd like to explore the Celestial Kingdoms. Now, this is where you need to be careful because the answer that you answer will be depending on your class. If you're an Iop, Kra, Fekka, Eneripsa, Ekaflip, Algonac, Sacria, you will pick White Fire. If you are a Zelor, Osa, Fogonaut, Sadida, Masquerader, Enutroph, Sram, Rogue, Pandawa, you will pick Black Fire, which is on the next page. The rest of the options are irrelevant. So, since I'm an Ekaflip, I will be picking White Fire. And then the next question, you have to answer the Dragon of Pandala. Uh, that's for all classes. Depend doesn't matter what class you are, you have to pick Dragon of Pandala. Say thank you and take the item. So once you finish this, you receive the thing that's called an Iroru symbol. It looks like yin and yang, uh, but it, that's kind of like the whole purpose of this area. And then you will click this map here. And that will take you to Wukin and Wukang, which is the new area and its kingdom of paper. So an important thing to note is that it took me to this location here, which is the um, kingdom of paper. Now, the second method that I'm going to show you how to get to this area will actually land you at this spot here, which is the kingdom of ink. So stay tuned and I'll show you how, uh, I'll show you the second method of getting here. Alright guys, welcome back. I just logged my Fekka on the server Elizeo and I'll show you the second method of how to get to Wukin and Wukang. So the reason why this one is a little bit um, annoying is because it's actually pretty far. You have to GPS to the map 20, negative 38. And once again, you need to have access to Pandala Island. So if you don't have access to Pandala Island, then check out the video that I linked below uh, that will show you how to get access. But yeah, you need a GPS to 20, negative 38. So let's go there now. Okay, so while we're going there, I'm um, back on the topic of Colosseum. Um, my team is ready. I have a team of three for Colosseum, but the only problem is I can't play it in Colo because it's too laggy. So, I am trying to get a second device, and the Ivory Dofus and Ebony Dofus uh, nerfs are actually pretty annoying. Uh, Ebony nerf was the worst one. Ivory is still usable in my opinion. Um, I'll most likely be replacing the Ebony Dofus with a Crimson Dofus instead. As for this shiny protect, it's not too bad, but it's not too good either. But I think I'll use it uh, in the meantime now, since I don't really have anything better to use. Unfortunately, the corrupted bow was also one of the items that got nerfed. It now costs 6 AP to cast, uh, which is 
pretty annoying. But you know, as a fecker, I have a spell called Lifelessness, which is 5 AP. I can use that instead. It steals intelligence and does similar damage. Uh, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think of the updates. Um, a lot of people are unhappy about it, but I guess it's you know part of the part of life, I guess, because a lot of the PVMers were scared to do PVP, but now that the powerful items are nerfed, it'll be a bit more friendly for them. Alright, so once you get to this area here, you want to talk to this quack and you fly to Wukin Temple. Once you're here, you're going to go into this area here. Once you're in here, you talk to the NPC. And just like before, you talk to him and ask, uh, find out more about this place. So you want to explore the Celestial Kingdoms. And I'll repeat it again. If you're an Iob, Kra, Fekka, Eneripsa, Ekaflip, Algonac, or Sacria, you will pick White Fire. If you are a Zelor, Osa, Foganaut, Sadida, Masquerader, Enutroph, Sram, Rogue, or Pendawa, you need to pick Black Fire. So I'm a Fekka. So I will be picking White Fire. Then the next question, everyone needs to answer the Dragon of Pendala. Say thank you and you have yourself the item. Then you just click this bottom left map here and you will come out uh, Kingdom of Ink. So you may remember before when I did the other method, I came out of this area here, but now I've come out of here. So, in terms of this new area, it's pretty much along the lines of the yin and yang theme where you see, you know, half is black, half is white, but then there's a spot of black in the white and then there's a spot of white in the black. There's also two dungeons here. Uh, the dungeons are quite similar in terms of the, the monsters giving drops, but obviously one of them has a black theme and the other one has a white theme. Um, so, once you know how to get to the... Wukin and Wukang area now. I suppose you're asking how do we get back to Pendala or the world map. So an easy option is just to use a recall potion and an alternative to that is you go back in here and you talk to the NPC and then you say ask how to return to Pendala and then answer confidently that you are actually in the Celestial Kingdoms. Admit that you're definitely a little lost. Head towards the exit. So now you press that. And you're back here. And then you just go backwards and you know, go down. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to try my best to get some more maging videos and pvp videos in the future i've got a couple of things planned as i am officially on holidays now as of two days ago my final exam finished uh yeah so thanks for watching guys and see you at the next video